everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I am here with my first handbag or handbags unboxing of this year, 2023. And if you have not seen my wish list video already for this year, I will link it below. It does feature a list of a few handbags as well as other luxury pieces. So yeah, you might be able to guess what these pieces are today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags, hence the video today, but I also love travel, fashion, luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. The first handbag unboxing is always very exciting. It's like, how do I start off the year? And generally my first handbag is very much according to my wish list. So <laughs> it has not deviated much since then because I just made my wish list. And so yeah, I just wanted to share it with you. I have actually two, but they're very related to each other. You'll see in a second what I mean. I got these at two different locations and there's a reason why, because I got a really good deal on one of them. And the other, um, it was just regular price, but I had a gift card. So I thought, you know what? I'll just get it from that location. So if you wanna see what I got, continue to watch. So they came in here, you can see that they're not huge boxes. I'll get started on this smaller box. So, the first item is in this baggie here. I don't know if you could tell what it is. It's super cute. It is from one of my favorite brands and it is from Longchamp. Now, if you... <laughs> If you've been following some of the handbag trends last year, you'll know that this Longchamp collaboration with Filt, um, both of them are French company, French brands. You'll know that this has been an extremely popular bag, sold out and nobody could get their hands on it. Last year, I think like around maybe and halfway through the year, they came back in stock in many colors. So I finally got my hands on one now. I didn't think I wanted to get it for the winter time, but I am going to Hawaii soon. So I thought this would be a very good bag to bring. So a little bit closer, you can see that this has the silhouette of the Longchamp Les Pliage line, meaning the little handle here, it's flat and it's leather. And then there's a little snap closure button thing here. Now, of course, this is much smaller than the Longchamp bags that you would see from the Les Pliage line. I have them in so many different styles, like tote bags, backpacks, crossbody bags. So yep, here's another one to add to the collection. But unlike my other Le Pliage bags, these this is not a plastic body. It's actually a netting body. And this is where the collaboration comes in. This collaboration, uh, actually here's a, here's a tag. This is what the Longchamp bags usually look like on this side. And this is what the filet bags look like from the Filt. The Filt brand is a well-known French brand that makes this netting bag. And it's usually used for their shopping totes, for groceries, for a farmer's market, etc. But now they combined the look of the Le Pliage line and it looks super cute. So you open it like this, as you can see, there is a crossbody shoulder strap here, which is the same fabric material as the rest of the netting. It is not adjustable, but I'm sure you can adjust it in some ways. I'll try to figure it out. And on this tag, it does say made in France, which not all of their Le Pliage bags are, so I'm glad this one is. And this is the tag for Filt, which is the other company, and it was established in 1860. So yeah, it's very, very cute. Here we are, and if I had it on my shoulder, you can see my hip is right here. I'm 5'1 for reference and it hits me actually quite well. I can reach this, the bottom of this bag. And then crossbody wise, it also hits me at a pretty good length. Uh, I think if you're taller, you this might come up too tall on you. But if you're like me at about 5'1", 155 centimeters, you'll be just fine wearing it crossbody or on the shoulder. So as you can see, this has no structure. It's not a type of bag that I usually go for because I like structured bags, but I did think this was a very cute bag for, you know, the summertime. And I also thought it would be a great bag because it's so lightweight and so easy to wear on the beach. So if I'm going to Hawaii, that would be a perfect opportunity to wear this bag. Just grabbing my phone, I have the Pixel 5. 
I know I need a new phone, maybe this year. <laughs> and so just to show you what it looks like, um, if I had my phone in there, you can see it fits really nicely, like so. And um, it does, I mean, you can obviously see through it because it's a netting bag. If I put another item in there, like this Dior Compact, um, you, you can see that it doesn't really stay organized. It'll like flip flop, like my phone already fell to its side already. So you do need to pay attention to that if you're going after this bag. I personally don't, like I think I'm, I'm gonna be okay with it. I'm not gonna go in thinking it'll be a very organized bag, but that's okay because I'm going to the beach. I don't really need that to happen. I just don't want too much sand in there. So <laughs> here we go. Uh, I also wanted to point out that this this bag only has one handle, uh, whereas most Le Piage bags have two handles, so that is one thing to keep in mind. But if you're wearing the other side as a shoulder bag, then you can actually hold it quite well. You can even leave it open and it's probably okay. So I will play around with this to let you know how I could use it. I do know you can put other things in there to make it more secure. So for example, you could put a scarf in here or you could put a dust bag in here and that will help shape this bag as well as keep your items inside a little bit more hidden. So yeah, I am really excited about this and I love this purple shade. I think it looks very cute. Um, and yeah, overall it's very light, very easy to like pack up and like bring with you. And then if you need an extra bag, it can actually expand quite big. So yeah, definitely be able to use this on vacation nicely. All right guys, so the next item that I have here is sitting in this box. And again, it's very, flat and so you might be able to guess what it is. This one I got from Italist. The other bag I got from Nordstrom. So the Nordstrom I had a gift card so I thought I'd use it there but I got this one from Italist because they had a really good sale. So let me open it and I'll, I can go more into it with you but here we go. It's very minimally packed which is totally fine. I love my packaging but sometimes you know it is actually good because you save the environment a lot. So in this case, there's just a little receipt in here and the item is wrapped in here in the Italist packaging. So here we go. I don't know if you have any guesses what this might be. Alrighty, you can kind of see through and it is no surprise, <laughs> another Le Pilage and felt brand bag. So this one has the Italist tag attached to it. It's just because they don't want you to uh, use the bag and return it. So you have to keep this on if you want to return. But um, this bag was m cheaper than if I were to buy it at Nordstrom. So I decided to get it through Italist. And yeah, it looks from what I can see, very similar. So as you can see, this bag is a larger size compared to the one I just unboxed. This one is the regular size, and this one has two handles, just like the Le Pliage totes, and it also does have the strap. Now, let me open the, the same snap closure button here because I do see another strap. So this bag features the two top handles in leather, and then the two strap handles here in this fabric. So because I chose this bag in black, the straps are also in black. As you can see, the netting is black. And so this drop is much shorter. And so you can see that this is meant for a shoulder bag, like so. Of course, this is much bigger than the other one. So just for comparison, this is the <laughs> original. This is the extra small. This is, I guess, regular. And you can see that it is very tiny. Like even the shape of this is smaller than this by quite a bit. Um, and then the strap, let me see if I can show you here. You can see that the strap drops much longer than this one. So this one is definitely more of like a tote style versus the other one's definitely more of like a crossbody style. This bag is much bigger and you can definitely fit a lot more things in there. And when you open it, you can see that the opening is huge. And so you can put it on the crook of your arm here. I have a big sweater, but you can do that or you can use the uh, longer straps to wear on your shoulder, which I really like. This bag is also by the brand 
felt. It's the same bag, it's just a bigger size. And if you look closely here, let's see if it'll focus, it does say made in France as well. So that's great because um, I do like my French brand bags made in France. I think that's very appropriate. There is a little note card here which tells you a little bit about what this is made of. So it's made of textiles, as you can see the material here, but it's also made with cowhide, which is all the brown parts. And so that's very similar to the Le Pliage uh, line. It also tells you how to uh, clean it and what to avoid and such. So the other one also came with one of these, but I forgot to show you, so I'm showing you now. The Filt Collaboration does have this tag, which is why you see it here again. And um, yeah, just to let you know, this one's about five ounces in weight, and this one is about 2.5 ounces in weight. So this is about half the weight of this guy. And that's really rough, because obviously there's still some random tags on it. But yeah, they're extremely light. Let me just show you my phone in here. So again, same phone, dropping it in, you can see that it's like, you could fit so much in here. You can also put like, this is my notebook, you can definitely fit that in there. So yeah, it's it's definitely very spacious and it can expand into almost any shape. I think w one thing that I have to worry about with this bag, the other bag as well, is that smaller items do fall out. So I cannot put like anything small, like pens, keys, anything, it will, it will kind of jut out. Bigger items like my phone or like a notebook or a compact would definitely fit nicely in here, as you can see. Again, this one is just as see-through as the extra small size, but uh, if you're getting it as I'm doing, which is as a beach bag or around the beach, um, it is fine because I don't really care if people see my towels and such. And I can also double this up as a grocery bag. So that's what the felt bags were made for, which is for grocery shopping. So I could totally see myself doing that as well if I'm not going to the beach. So I have a scarf here and I just kind of wanted to show you like if I had a scarf, this is what it would look like. I have noticed that by tying this scarf in such a way, so this is my Louis Vuitton one that I just unboxed for Christmas. Um, so let's say, let's try this. Um, I have, this is a pretty big scarf. So here we go, I am going to tie this up. Um, the idea is to create a, like a cradle and so um, by doing that and putting it into the bag, I think I can create sort of like a little basket inside this netting. And depending on the scarf color, you can see it peek through. Now, I have not tied the scarf very nicely, but if I were to put my, let's say, notebook inside the scarf, you can you can now not see it you can only see the scarf so you can definitely play around with that and first you know depending on how nicely you tie the scarf you can actually put small pieces of items in here and not it won't come out the holes because it'll be stuck in the scarf it will take some getting used to i i will probably show you how i use it later <laughs> because right now i'm just playing i'm just i'm seeing it for the first time so I'm very excited to bring both of these bags to vacation next. I think I have a few vacations planned that involves the beach soon, so I think that will come in handy. But I can also see myself, like I said, bringing it to the farmer's market. These are so lightweight and so handy that like, if I toss it in one of my purses or if I left it in my car, I can easily grab it for, you know, bringing groceries home as well. So um, let me just tell you the price. The price for the smaller with extra small one is 85 US dollars, but they do sometimes go on sale, so you can find them cheaper. This larger size is 110 US dollars. So for a designer bag, it's not that bad actually, but obviously for the materials that you get, it's not all leather. It is this material that is more of a fabric. So in terms of that, I don't think it's, it should cost as much. But if you think about merging the two design houses and what they do best, 
it's actually a really cute thing to have, a really cool thing to collect if you are a handbag lover. And if you are dipping your toes into the luxury world, um, this is a really good one to get your hands on and try. So yeah, I think this one is, in terms of pricing, it's kind of a lot for um, just, you know, netting bag, but in terms of the entire collaboration and the design, I think it's not bad. Also for this one, like I said, I did get it on sale. I got it um, about $20 below the uh, MSRP because I got it through Italist. I've talked about Italist here before. It is a company that sources materials from Europe, mainly from Italy. A lot of the times their items are less and not because they cannot sell it or it's old. It's because they actually found pieces around Italy that are selling for a lower price point. An example to explain that is if you ever go to Europe, you'll, you'll notice that things generally cost cheaper, not just from the conversion rate, but just in general, things cost cheaper because they don't have to export and import into the US. So anyway, that savings is saved here. Um, Italis passes on that savings to us. So I will link any that I can find below. Their prices do fluctuate because I think they do change from euros to usd so every day it could change a little bit so i actually have checked it over a couple of days and it's like oh it's actually lower today i'm gonna get it today so like i said i did save 20 dollars on this from the usual selling price so i'm happy about that and yeah i will link a bunch below if you're interested sometimes my links do have coupon codes attached to them so hopefully it does apply to yours um but yeah I will list them below if you're interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing. I will have more to unbox throughout the year. So definitely subscribe, stay tuned so that you'll be notified the next time I do another unboxing. And if you would like to see either of these bags styled, make sure you check out my Instagram at clutch to carry all. And then you'll be able to see these paired with outfits, how I style them, how they look in real life. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video.